Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today's video we're going to open up some of these hobby packs I picked up over the weekend on my trip to the card show. Now I know some of these are uh, a little bit of an older release but for me one of the first things that I've opened hobby only this year. So you can see we have top series 2 with 14 cards on the left. Uh, in the middle we have tops chrome and then on the right we have tops finest which has five chrome cards in each pack. So uh, I'm a little bit uh, I wouldn't say concerned, but maybe a little bit skeptical about these because if you look on the back, these are not labeled for individual sale, but they were actually sold individually. So I would imagine if someone um, had enough cases of this or they had opened enough of it, they might be able to tell which cards had the autographs if Tops kind of has a pattern about themselves. Sometimes I know that once you start opening boxes and type inside of a case, you can kind of tell where the autographs are going to be. So I'm hoping that that is not working against me and the people who sold these did not pull out all the packs with autographs and then just sell all these individually because Topps Finest comes in a little um, mini boxes. But anyway, we're going to go for the Series 2 first. Uh, if you were unaware, the odds of Series 2 hobby packs, a gold parallels 1 in 14, rainbow 1 in 10, vintage stock 1 in 274 packs, and then a short print, just a regular short print is 1 in every 40 packs. So it looks like we have James Paxson on the back. We got some rookie card action on the top. Luis Alexander Basabi. Alex Avila. Obviously, with these hobby packs, you can always get those black parallels as well. Garrett Crochet, who is probably the best one we've seen so far. Cal Hendricks, who's having a really nice year this year. We've got a landscape of Hanser Alberto for the Royals. Kind of a left-handed hitting specialist. Home run handoff there with Aaron Judge. We've got a James Karinchak. Uh, Karinchak, excuse me. Ryan Weathers for the San Diego Padres. Play that crazy game with the... Dodgers just the other day. Craig Kimbrell, we do have a 1986 parallel card there. That's from Brady Singer of the Kansas City Royals, who has um, kind of been up and down this year. A lot of people are excited for him, and then he has not yet quite got his third pitch developed. He's throwing a lot of sinkers. He's throwing a lot of sliders. If he can get that third pitch, he will be much more effective. Michael Pineda with the Twins. We have Enoli Paredes for the Astros. And then we're going to finish it up with Anthony Rendon, who's out for the year, and James Paxson, who we saw on the opening of the pack. So that one was a little bit of a, a tiny disappointment there, although with Series 2, you can't really expect too much. Let's go ahead and go to the finest. Now, like I said, I'm a little bit hesitant. Um, 1999 is about what they're selling for on eBay, although I did not get these off eBay. So we'll see what entails in here if we're lucky we might be able to get ourselves an autograph if the autograph packs have already been pulled we may just uh, be looking for some pretty cool cards refractors what you or whatever we may find here so we've got a joy gallo i really love the design of these cards oh <laughs> they are not these cards these packs are not searched or not searched but they haven't been like uh wow you know what i'm saying look at that second card off the deck xander bogart's top certified autograph we got a hit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to set this down really quickly, grab myself a sleeve and a top loader so we can display this thing. All right. So, yeah, like I said, if, if you're familiar with Topps Finest, it comes out really, really early in the year. It's one of the first releases, and uh, they come in like two little, I don't know what they're called, two separate little mini boxes. And uh, each mini box um, has some packs in there, and then there's an autograph, I believe. And this card is a little bit thicker, just making sure I have this set up correctly, that it'll fit in my sleeve. So maybe I'm just uh, mistaken there, but I was I was assuming that maybe somebody, you know, instead of just grabbing all the packs and tossing them into, uh, into individual sale like this, I was guessing maybe someone could, like, take out the packs that have the, that they know which ones have the autographs in them and just... Uh, sell the ones that don't have the autographs in them so there it is xander bogart's autograph in fact i didn't even show the back of it i apologize there there it is congratulations you have received finest autograph card of xander bogart's having a nice year this year for the boston red sox although they are starting to hit the skids a little bit in their quest to make the playoffs okay we have a josh donaldson that's turned backwards don't really know a lot about that oh and we got a numbered card that is awesome as well i don't know the name of this little 
uh, variation, if you are a person who knows a lot about finest, maybe you can fill me in on what type of parallel that is. Numbered out of 175, 40, or excuse me, 84 out of 175. No wonder that one was turned backwards. Oh, and we've got right after that, this is a hot pack almost. Jazz Chisel Murky Card. You saw me pick this one up at the card show for a dollar, and now I just got another one. And then we're going to finish it off with last year's Rookie of the Year, Kyle Lewis, who's unfortunately been injured for a significant period of time. So, wow. Oh, my goodness. $20 uh, is very pricey for five cards. You know, your, your rate there is a $4 per card. But if you can hit an autograph and a numbered parallel in your pack, I feel like we've made our money off of that one. So I'm going to put Josh Donaldson up top. Let's go ahead and go to the second pack. Now, surely there's no way this second pack can be as good as the first one. But let's just give it a shot. Pack number two. We'll see what we've got. I'll kind of pull from the back since it was those middle two cards that were kind of the fire cards on the first pack. We've got a key, Brian Hayes, right off the back. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that one up. If you watch my video of my card show pickups, you saw I grabbed two of these uh, from one of the dealers there. He had a, a selection of cards uh, that he had pulled from Top's Finest. It was not the person I bought these packs from, by the way, if you're just kind of curious. And I bought two of that Key Brian Hayes for a dollar a piece. We got a Chris Bryan on the front. We'll go from the back again one more time. We've got a Zach Grinke, one of my favorite players, even though he's not on the Royals anymore. And now we'll see if we have anything here in these middle two cards, which were the fire cards. The last pack, we've got a Kyle Lewis and King Griffey Jr. Legacies. That must be an insert. That's a nice one. Kyle Lewis and King Griffey Jr. Um, both obviously Seattle center fielders. Hopefully Kyle Lewis can bounce back next year or maybe even return for the playoffs this year if the Seattle can sneak in there. And then we have a finest Masters card. Looks like an Anthony Rendon. And it is an Anthony Rendon. So we have two cards there that you would consider insert cards. Finest Legacies right there with King Griffey Jr. and Kyle Lewis. And Masterful Moments whenever he uh, hit a home run against the Houston Astros, it looks like. So two inserts in that pack. We hit the autograph and the number Josh Donaldson, which those two were uh, probably my favorite two out of that opening right there, plus the key Brian Hayes. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up with the Topps Chrome. Now, Topps Chrome packs just came out. I believe I purchased this pack for $12. So you're looking at four cards for $12, $3 a card. The odds here of getting a refractor, one in three. A prism refractor, one in six. A 1986 insert, one in six. Future stars, one in eight. And then a rookie autograph is one in 18 packs. So that'll be the uh, the best card we could pull. We've got a Mikey Strzemski right off the front. Looks like we have a prism card there. Second, you kind of see how that's shining a little bit. Or excuse me, it's the third card, the prism. So I'm gonna pull from the back. We'll save that prism for last. We've got a Dalton Varsho rookie. He's done all right this year with Arizona, playing a little bit of catcher, also playing a little bit in the outfield. Kind of a unique combination. We've got Yastrzemski on the front. Our second card is a rookie of David Peterson. And now we'll get to the final card. Hopefully this can be an autograph, and if not, that's okay because we've already hit one. It's definitely a prism parallel. Looks like it's for the Philadelphia Phillies. And that looks like an Alec Baum. Oh, that is nice. The Alec Baum prism refractor gold cup rookie card combination that is really cool not numbered but it is really nice unfortunately he struggled a little bit and just got sent down to triple a but i still have a lot of faith in him uh, for his future and that is going to be a nice one that i will hold on to uh, now would not be the time to sell i feel like now's the time to hold alec bomb and wait until he comes back and kind of reestablishes himself because that is a really cool card as well so Ladies and gentlemen, I think we did really well there. That was about, what, $20, $20, 12 and six, so 52 plus six. Uh, close to $60 worth of pack purchases there, and I feel like I got a pretty decent value if I kind of pan back a little bit. We got the Xander Bogarts autograph, we got the Alec Baum Prism Refractor, we got the Key Brian Hayes, the Josh Donaldson uh, parallel numbered out of 175. And then also we have the Jazz Chisholm of Top's Finest as well. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'm going to get out of here. We're almost at nine and a half minutes. Hope you have a great one. And uh, if you see any of these packs out there, you may want to give them a shot. Peace.